all right guys welcome to another episode of rotten cassava and today we'll be making a review about the movie year love lies year love lies was released in 2022 and the movie was directed by tokpe osin the movie also featured nollywood veterans like sam dede tunamba and etim f young Amongst his major cast were two foreign actors, Tim Shelburne and Barbara Walsh. Now, although Year Love Lies didn't get much social media reactions or hype, but it's important to know that in 2022, the movie bagged the AMAA Award for Best Movie shot by a director living in diaspora. So today, Rotten Cassava will be rating this movie based on our usual criteria. But for those who haven't been following up, here they are. The storyline, the costumes, the dialogue and actors delivery, the video and sound quality, the movie set, and since we also have fight scenes in this movie, we'll be talking about the quality of the fight scenes. The movie storyline had a very good concept. It has something that the directors only needed to follow through to make a masterpiece out of. I mean, if they had just stuck to the book, the movie would have probably been an Academy Award nominee. I understand that they wanted to create an unexpected ending and something just a little bit far from cliche. But I would say due to lazy writing, they couldn't end the movie as perfectly as they started the movie. I wouldn't want to use the word horrible because truth be told, the story has a way of keeping you glued to the screen till the very end. So Rotten Cassava will be rating the storyline with 2 cassavas out of 5 cassavas. And why is that? Keyword loopholes. But at the end, I would say this was one of the first few times that we saw a total switch from rom-com to horror trailer. The costume in the movie was very regular, at least the costume was able to tell the story about the movie, but I wouldn't say so much effort needed to be put into the costume, but um, considering the whole storyline, it was a regular day activity, there were no superheroes and all that, the costume was just okay for the movie and even after the attack, the torn clothes and everything were just okay to tell the story. So as for the costumes, Rotten Cassava will be giving Year Love Lies 3 cassavas out of 5. As for the actors' performances, while the story was still regular, I would say the actors' performances were regular, but when the story got to its climax, they couldn't perform as well to sell the story. Their performances were so horrible, the acting was so bad in this scene. So, due to this, Rotten Cassava will be giving the actors' performances and dialogue 2 cassavas out of 5. One of the major strengths of this movie was its set. I mean, a lot of work was put into it. The set of Year Love Lies will take you on a tour through New York City and it will show you some of its finest monuments. The storyline, although very flawsome, was able to utilize every strength of its set. The dual location was good and the picture quality remained top-notch throughout the movie. So in terms of this set, Rotten Cassava will be rating this movie a whooping 4 cassavas out of 5. Talking about the fight scene, the question here is, what wasn't wrong about the fight scenes in this movie? I mean, they shouldn't have included any fight scene at all. They would have looked for a way to best avoid this. The storyline was going on so well and we are just waiting for the icing of the cake. Well, I guess the fight scene was just at the climax of the movie and as soon as it started, the movie was just a wreck. The fight scene turned the whole movie and the whole story to a caricature. So based on the fight scene, Rotten Cassava will be rating this movie 1.5 cassavas over 5. The 
There's nothing at all to criticize about the visuals and sound quality of this movie. So based on the visuals and sound quality of Year Love Lies, Rotten Cassava will be grating this movie a whooping 4 cassavas out of 5. So here we are guys for the final rating. I know this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Now based on the 6 criteria that the movie was rated with, Rotten Cassava will be rating Year Love Lies with an average rating of 2.75 Cassava over 5. So which means the movie is a little bit above average and it might be enjoyable to anybody who watches it. So give the movie a try guys, it won't hurt to fly. So once again, thanks for watching, remember to like, share, subscribe and comment. Also stay tuned for the next episode of Rotten Cassava because we will be rating a Sunday affair next.